Hi, I'm Tina from OT Roller Skate Gear and welcome to another session of the Derby Elements with Skating Skills. I do have to apologise for the cicadas in the background. It is summer here in New Zealand so it's a bit hard to make them shut up. Oh hey Veg! Hey Tina! Hey! So this is a really good friend of mine and teammate Vicious Veggie and today she's going to teach you about tea stops and so I'm going to leave you in her precious hands to teach you all about them and how to break them down. Cool, see you later! See you later! Uh, so first I'm going to break down tea stops. Now tea stops are one of the earliest stops you're going to learn in roller derby. Uh, it's one of my personal favourites. Uh, it's quite an upright stop and there aren't that many practical uses for it in roller derby but it's still a really good stop just when you're learning how to get control of your speed. Um, you can use it just to scrub your speed if you're heading up towards the pack a little bit too fast as well if you're a jammer. Um, one of the things you have to break down first is one foot gliding because if you can't glide on one foot in a straight line you're going to find it really hard to do a tea stop. So one of the things I always talk about when it comes to one foot gliding is where is your weight in your foot. So you have your outside edge of your skate and your inside edge of your skate. And by pushing your foot to the outside or the inside, you're going to affect where you're going to roll. So for instance, if I put my weight on the outside of my skate, you're going to see I do a really sharp turn towards the outside. And if I put my weight on the inside of my skate, same thing, I'm going to do a sharp turn towards the inside. Now, as you can imagine, if you're trying to go in a straight line and if you're veering off, you can actually just alter where your weight is in your skate to try and get yourself back on track for a straight line. So, going, if I'm veering off, I can just bring my weight back and try and keep going in that straight line. Once you've mastered the one foot glide, we're going to work on just positioning with the right angle. So you're just going to figure out whether or not you can glide, turn that foot out to that right angle while still gliding. So once you feel like you can get your foot quite comfortably into that right angle, you're going to practice just tapping it on the ground. Now I really talk about the, the difference between weight and pressure in this stop. You want to have all your weight in this gliding leg. What's going to come through this leg is pressure. Uh, the difference between weight and pressure is that you can take this foot off the ground. You can't take this one off the ground because all your weight's in that leg. So you're going to be rolling with all your weight in this leg and you're just going to tap this one on the floor. Just really lightly. Um, that's just going to get you used to the feeling of the, the jolt of the stop because when you're just getting used to it, it does kind of take you by surprise. Uh, a thing to focus on as well is which wheels are you aiming for. So you're actually going to aim for your back two wheels. Um, your back two wheels, or even some people do the front two. Really all four is actually the ideal. But what I tend to teach people is if you aim for the back two, it'll pull you forwards onto all four wheels. For instance, if I'm trying to do my T-stop, if I aim to put the back two down first, it pulls all four down. You can also do it using your front two wheels. But the ultimate no-no is this. Your front, um, your inside edge wheels, these should never be used for a T-stop. This is a really dangerous position to be in. Um, basically, you might snap your ankle. Nobody wants that. So. Always aiming to have either all four, the back two, or the front two, never the inside two wheels. It's not safe. Now we're going to try and execute the stop. So we're going to do a one foot glide. We're going to bring that foot out to a right angle. We're going to really slowly lower it. And just let it kind of brush the surface, yeah? So you're not putting too much pressure through it. It's just really lightly brushing the surface, just while we're learning. Keeping our head and shoulders and neck facing forward. Once you feel like you're kind of mastering the form, got that, that leg nice and bent, got that right angle, you've got a nice soft stop, then you can start to apply more pressure. So as you apply more pressure, you can come to a quicker, sharper stop. Yeah. So notice my legs finish nice and close together. It gives you a nice, clean, sharp stop. So thanks for watching this video about tea stops. I hope you've learned a little bit more. Um, get out there, keep practicing, keep trying until you get them right. They're really good derby basic. Oh hey Tina, welcome back. Hello, I'm real tired from all that learning. Yeah. Thanks Veggie for coming out and breaking down tea stops for us. You're welcome. And you remember you can visit us at www.otroller.co.nz. I'm Tino Turner. I'm Vicious Veggie. And together we're Otero Roller Skate Gear.